What's going on guys? Awesome Supreme here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be doing our first ever, finally, I know I've been meaning to do this video, this series rather, for a while now, but we're here and it's time. Hope you guys like my real professional background, wall, monitor. I'm so sorry about the squeaky chair. I can't do anything about that. I will try my best not to move because if I do that, it squeaks. So today we're going to talk a lot about Transformers toys. That's what these Transformer toy talks are all about. And welcome to episode one. Today we're going to be taking a look. Eric, let me, I have my window browser here. I just looked up a picture of Transformers for you guys. We're going to be talking about all types of new figures. I want to start off with Siege. So uh, with the Siege figures, I want to talk about the 35th anniversary figures. And um, they're essentially, all three of them are repaints of Soundwave from um, the Voyager class Soundwave. This will be called Sound Blaster. And as you can see, it's the same exact figure, just with a black and orange redeco. But I love my Soundwave figure, and I love this figure. This figure looks great. So I dig it. I love it. Gonna get it. Don't know when it'll come out. Uh, if I'm not wrong, I think it comes out pretty soon. But uh, yeah, let's take a look more up, up close figures, pictures rather. Sorry about the shaking of the camera. Do my best for you guys. And then you can put your uh, the cassettes in there, which I don't own any. And as you can see, there's Soundwave right next to him. So that is one of the figures. These are in-hand images. Here's an in-hand image. I'm gonna keep it like that for you. In him, image of his uh, spaceship mode. So yeah, and here you got your secret modes and all that. So yeah, and then another figure we have is Blue Streak, which is a redeco of Prowl. But uh, I really do like this figure. It looks G1 to me, and I, I love that G1 aesthetic. So see. There's Prowl, there's Blue Streak. And, uh, you know, he's not blue, more of a gray streak, but it's all good. <laughs> but it is part of the 35th anniversary line, and uh, can't wait to get it. Here is his vehicle mode. As you can see, the little paint redecorations. But I think it's worth it. So, yeah, guys, there you go for the siege. Moving on, here are the in packaging, the packaging video pictures of the um, 35th anniversary siege, as you can see, it has this look. I'm still debating when I get these if I'm gonna open them or not, because I really like these packages. And um, there is their Autobot Blue Street. And uh, I cannot wait for this guy. I'm gonna try to focus on that for you guys. There you go. And I'm gonna be a little dark, but it's all good. And there's Optimus Prime. As you can see, he is the special edition Optimus Prime. I can't remember the exact animation Optimus Prime. There you go. They're calling him the an uh, the anniversary classic animation Optimus Prime. And um, he has that cartoon design. If any of you have ever played Transformers Devastation or heard of Transformers Devastation, that is what he looks like. And he looks amazing. And I want him bad. That is awesome. I have this, it's the same exact Siege figure, just repainted. And the other one is Megatron, which I also want. You can't just get Optimus and not get the Nemesis of Megatron. It makes no sense. But uh, we will be adding this to our collection later in the future. Moving on from the 35th anniversary Siege figures, let's talk about Wave 5. Now, who do I want to talk about first? We have Astro Train, Spinster, and Crosshairs. If I'm not wrong, this is Crosshairs right here. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I'm so sorry if I'm wrong. But if I'm not wrong, this is Deluxe, Cross Deluxe Class Crosshairs. He is a exact repaint of uh, Deluxe Class Ironhide. But I dig it. It works. Repaints are a thing. Hasbro loves repainting figures. But, I mean, they did that a lot in the G1 era with the figures, I believe. If I'm completely wrong, correct me. I'm sorry. I'm not perfect. But, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think he looks great. Let's go ahead and look at other figures. This is Spinster in his, I'm guessing it's a him, pretty sure, in his very color, bright, brightly colored helicopter. You got your light blue, and you got your bright pink, and you got your little more lavender-ish than purple, I would say. I don't know if I'm wrong, correct me. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I think that looks cool. 
Uh, look at that head sculpt. Ooh, that reminds me of Prime. Decepticon. Really like it. It's a very interesting figure, and I think just because it's a very interesting figure and a very brightly colored figure, I'll hopefully be picking this up someday. Now, this boy is who I'm excited for for Wave 5 for Siege. Astro Train. I heard people complaining about him, and I think it has to do with, with a piece that he's a parts former. A piece that comes off that makes him a lot smaller. I think I think that's what I heard. He's eight inches across, and um, he's Astro Train. He is a uh, the jet plane that goes in the sky. My mind is going blank right now. What what is it called? Space shuttle. He's a space shuttle. They're not really a shuttle, but he's a spaceship, I guess. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm saying, guys. He's this. If you know what this is. Good for you. You're smart. I'm stupid. So uh, he will transform into this. And of course, he is a train. He will also transform into this, which is 11 inches long. And I think that is absolutely awesome. I love triple changer figures. Why do you think we've got Springer? I didn't like Springer that much. But I love the fact that it's a triple changing transformer toy. I love that. It's a, it's just awesome. And there, go, there you have crosshairs in his vehicle mode. Just like Iron Hides, just the red and blues, and I actually like the red and blues better. America. So yeah. There's Astro Train with a big gun. Really big gun. And um it's got those blocky feet. Got you can I think he looks great, but that's me. So there you guys go. That was our discussion on the way five siege figures. Next up, let's talk about studio series for 2020. My goodness, guys. It is absolutely insane what they are doing. And um, this figure looks a lot better in its promotion picture than it does in reality. Sorry, guys, if I'm really dark in this video, but you're not supposed to focus on me in this video. You're supposed to focus on my voice and the figures. So let's take a look. Four wave, four wave one. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's wave one of 2020. People keep saying wave eight. Pretty sure people refer it to wave one of 2020. But um, that's my preference. If you want to say wave eight, go ahead. I'm saying wave one 2020. So for wave one of 2020, we have a 2007 Camaro Bumblebee. We have Revenge of the Fallen, the three pack of RC Chromie and Alita One, Dark of the Moon Soundwave, and the last night, World War II Hot Rod. Let's take a look at Bumblebee. These are, of course, promo pictures. The actual figure itself will differ a little bit. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and darken the image for you guys. Take a look at that beautiful, beautiful figure, man. I can. This would definitely be my favorite in the line because I've always. This is when I fell in love with the Camaro. So um, yeah. Moving on. Here is RC. I believe the. If we look over here in the next photo. She will have like a stand right here. So your figures will be able to obviously be on display. Now I'm curious, these are $20. Three little figures, $20. Are these things going to be very tiny, tiny? Or I don't know, we'll have to wait and see, guys. There actually are stock images, but I could not find those for some reason. This is a uh, Chromia. I personally like this one a lot, very blue. I think the transformations will be fairly easy considering the size of the figure. There's your vehicle mode and the motorcycles. There's the Lita One. So, yeah. And this is Deluxe Class Darker Moon Soundwave. Personally, I feel like it should have been a Voyager. I don't know. I feel like the scaling on a lot of these studios figures are very strange. I feel like Optimus and Megatron should both be later classes because they're the leaders of, you know. But they're both Voyager classes. But, I mean, except for Dark of the Moon Megatron and Dark of the Moon Prime. But, like... It's very confusing, very strange in my opinion. But I mean, hey, whatever, whatever, you know? So, I love this figure. I think it looks beautiful. I have zero complaints for it. But you know who does have complaints? Everybody about this, this chest piece right here. People are complaining a lot because it does not look like that in the film. I'm actually gonna quickly go ahead and look it up for you guys. Let's go ahead and check it out. Blow up the image. Nope, you're not gonna blow up the image for me? If you guys can take a look right here, as you can see, it's more, it's more like all pieced in. It's not a giant block, just better image. I'm sorry guys if you guys can't see that, but 
you guys get what I'm trying to say. But yeah, so um, a lot of people are complaining. I mean, um, Hasbro's not perfect. You know, that's, that might be very hard to engineer. And if so, we need to be happy with this figure. It's beautiful. It's $20. Buy it. A lot of people that complain are probably going to buy it anyways. So there you go. I will say it does suffer the... Man, when I said I didn't have complaints, I lied to you guys. I'm sorry. One complaint. It does suffer from the non-metallic syndrome. It should be metallic, not just a flat gray color. It should be metallic. It should be metallic. You know, it's simple. But, I mean, hey. This figure I really don't give a crap about, but me being a completionist or trying to be, I will be getting this in, and it is definitely a complete remold of World War II Bumblebee. But, you know... It's cool. Another hot rod figure. 20 bucks. Why not? So, yeah. And here are the promo pictures for the Alita 1 3 pack. World War II hot rod from Transformers The Last Night. Deluxe Class Bumblebee from the first movie. And Deluxe Class Dark of the Moon. Oh, here you go, guys. Here are your um, pictures. See how this is extremely different from the yellow on that. But, I mean, I'm not going to complain that much. I still love the figure. I don't think you can take the battle mask off, but I mean, hey, that's whatever. I love the figure. I'm going to love it, and he's going to look beautiful. And hmm, from this picture, it actually looks like he does not. He hasn't. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait. I guess I'll have to wait till I see the picture in person. Oh, and I love that it has a little laser beak. You know, that's awesome. I love that. I feel like they could probably maybe in the future make a deluxe laser beak. So we have like a bigger version. But they, they probably won't. But I mean, hey, that'd be pretty cool. This is a closer image for you guys. I'm going to brighten that up just a tad. I'm so sorry if the lighting's bad. I'm trying my best for you guys. I don't have all types of lights and lightings or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so they're, they're pretty small for deluxe class. See, that is World War II Hot Rod. He's going to be the exact same size of Bumblebee, I'm guessing, from Wave 5. And these look like a three-fourths of the size of that. But that's also... Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to be a bit smaller. So these guys would be pretty cool. They have pretty basic paint applications, but they're still super coolly detailed figures. And I will be buying them, and I, I can't wait. More pictures of them. They look freaking awesome. World War II Hot Rod. I do like his black paint rather than the green on World War II B. But, yeah. All right, guys, there you guys go. That was our discussion for Deluxes for Wave 5. And here we are. But before before I get to the Wave wave 1 of 2020, um, I want to say the Hasbro Unicron, I think they moved up the backup date or the the due date to October 21st or something like that. So, yeah, if you didn't know that, now you know. There you go. So, yeah, moving back to the, fo to the photos. So, here we have... These are our Voyagers and Leader Class figures, and my, my, these are my favorite ones. Let, I'm, I'm going to do it from my least favorite to my favorite. So I'm going to have to to tie my least favorite with Studio Series Voyager Class Mixmaster and Voyager Class 2007 Movie Megatron. And my favorites are Leader Class Scavenger and Leader Class Shockwave. Let's take a look, guys. First, actually, let's take a look at the promotional photos. <laughs> this is Constructicon Mixmaster. He looks like Mixmaster from Revenge of the Fallen. If you remember, Jetfire killed him. He went boom. So, yeah, I think this figure is awesome. I'm very curious to see how this is going to mold into Devastator because based on the prototype, this is, does not work at all with his little pieces and stuff based on what I've seen. But could be clean... I could be completely wrong, and we don't even have the the figure in hand yet, so we'll have to wait and see. Now, Voyager Class Megatron. I will be getting this, but I'm more excited to get Movie Masterpiece Megatron. And this was a complete lazy do by Hasbro, but I mean, hey, I love that jet mode. I think it's beautiful. I think his head sculpt looks amazing. I think his thing looks amazing. But what isn't amazing is these are his Dark of the Moon legs. And that's his Revenge of the Fallen Chest. But, I mean, it is what it is. I can't complain. I can't do anything about it. I'm still going to give Hasbro my money. So, what the hell am I going to say, you know? I feel like I will have a freaking hard time transforming it. But, hey, it's whatever. So, yeah. This is Movie Megatron. And, um, 
Even though I complained about it, I still love it. Now, look at this guy. This is the leader class constructor on Scavenger. I will say, I'm pretty sure his name was Demolisher, because I have my original one, and it is Demolisher. But, who am I to say that? So, yeah, he looks amazing. Holy moly. I love this design. I've, I've always loved this freak of a figure or of a transformer in, in itself. Like, what even is he? He, he rolls around. <laughs> So, I mean, there's nothing much to say. He's a pretty awesome Constructicon, so yeah. Now, this is the one I am so excited for. His paint job looks amazing. His his cannon looks amazing. He comes with brains and wheelie. That's freaking awesome. Look at, look at this. This is amazing. Look at that. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. I cannot wait to get this figure. This will be my number one priority for this wave when it comes out next year. It's just, look, let's... I just like look, look at these clear photos. Mix master, vehicle mode. I want to show you guys. Look, look, he even comes with the little uh, nest soldier, so I think that's awesome. So now let's take look at look at scavenger. Look at his head. He he looks amazing. Go ahead and darken. No, it's too dark. All right, we're gonna leave it like that. I think he looks awesome. I think Megatron his silver. Silver paint job looks awesome. Another interesting thing, I'm very curious to see who's going to be Studio Series number 50 because they skipped 50. So, yeah, there's Megatron. There's a Scavenger in his vehicle mode. <laughs> Look at that figure. That's awesome. Mix Master looked great. He's the Forest Battle? What? Well, that can't be right. Okay, then. Oh, yeah, this is Generation Nightbird. I don't really care for those, but I don't know who that is. Sorry, guys. I don't know who that is. He's got a screw for a head, though. Now, look at this. Look at, look at that. This is crazy, guys. That's absolutely insane. The paint job that is done on him. Look at that figure. Let's move this up closer for y'all. Look at that. I think this is might be... My favorite studio series figure of all time when I see it in hand. I have to see it in hand because he looks humongous. I think he is a retool of a Megatron figure, someone said, but I don't care. He looks great. He looks amazing. Gorgeous figure. Can't wait to get it. Not much more to say. He comes with tiny little brain and wheelie down here. He comes with a nest soldier. He comes with his cannon. He's a leader class. Look at his size. Look how great he looks. Look at the sculpt. Beautiful figure. Look at that. That's all I could really say. Scavenger looks great. Megatron looks great. I love that paint job. That's gonna be my favorite part of the figure. Mix Master looks awesome. I don't know what else to tell you guys. These figures are something else, guys. So there you guys go. We just spent 18 minutes talking about Transformer figures. Can you believe it? Because I can. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of our Transformers Toy Talks. I hope to do this series for a very long time, as long as toys can exist. I, I really I enjoyed this a lot with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Leave a like subscribe we're almost to 2000 we're at 1800 that's awesome I, I can't wait to get more money and do more toy hunts for you guys and just do whatever i can to please you guys with transformers because I, lo I love transformers we love transformers i'm 18 year old going to college and i love transformers and i'm not shameful of that or in any way i love it i love it i love it so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like and comment down below um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hope you guys enjoyed episode one of Transformer Toy Talks. So, uh, yeah, this is Awesomeness Prime, and I will see you in the next one.